Alright, man, peace. Hold on, give me one second. Oh, shit. Make sure this door unlocked. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Sorry about that, y'all. I just had to make sure the door was unlocked for my, uh, for my wife. Um, you guys, it is still March 26th. 2019 and you guys like i had a couple of people in the comment section is uh the uh because as of late i've been using the i right, man peace uh thing in my uh in my intro and uh you guys it's not permanent or anything like that it's just a, a little thing that i'm doing uh one of my uh favorite youtubers his name is chronicles of judah 144 uh he's fucking phenomenal like that's his thing the reason why I'm doing this is because like I, I made it to my I made a, a thing to myself where like I'm gonna keep doing this until he makes his till he drops his latest video. So we're just every every uh, Chronicles of Judah fan, you know he drops like 60 to 80 videos like once a month. So we're just waiting on that drop. So that's what I'm doing. So it's not permanent. So just uh, bear with me. But you guys, I got some news today. Um, <clears throat> it's regarding a Cowboys legend number 88. Michael Irvin himself. Uh, I got an article right here. Let me go ahead and read this to you guys. This is a title. After spending two days in an L.A. hospital, Cowboys legend Michael Irvin reveals health scare on Instagram. Okay, let's go ahead and read this. A Cowboys legend landed in the hospital over the weekend. Pro Football Hall of Famer Michael Irvin spent Sunday and Monday getting tests in a Los Angeles hospital because of some throat issues he's been dealing with over the past few months. The problems began after Irvin's post-game celebration following the Cowboys' surprise victory over the New Orleans Saints in late November. Irvin's elation and euphoria became a highlight reel of its own after the 13-10 win. And this is Michael Irvin. I was so elated and hyped I lost my voice and the problem persisted for almost two months, Irvin wrote. After visiting some of the best throat doctors, they thought it would be wise to take a deeper look at the situation. Irvin, 53, said among the tests performed was a throat biopsy, a decision he wrote that was due to the fact that Irvin's father died of throat cancer at the age of 51. Irvin also had a brother pass away after a battle with stomach cancer in 2006 at the age of 46. So this runs in his family. Cancer runs in his family. It's in his genes. Uh, so this was very serious. Uh, he, he really had to like attack this. He had to see what was going on with him. So I, I, I understand where he's coming from right here. And you guys, this I'm going to read what Michael Irvin wrote on Instagram. So here we go. Spent Sunday and Monday in L.A. at UCLA Medical Health during health tests. Doing health tests. I would not usually do this, but I need to share. Growing up in the ghetto of Fort Lauderdale, the one thing you have to conquer to get out is fear. I did. As a football player, the, the no fear gift served me well as a blessing and an asset on the field, but sometimes off the field, it's been a curse and a liability. This past football season, after, after the Dallas Cowboys beat the Saints, I was so elated and hyped, I lost my voice and the problem persisted for almost two months. After visiting some of the best throat doctors, they thought it would be wise to take a, take a deeper look at the situation. So we scheduled and performed a throat biopsy. To give background, I share with you that I lost my father at the young age of 51. He had throat cancer. This demon has chased and vexed me deep in my spirit all my life. So saying I am afraid this time is a big, big understatement. I am terrified. My faith tells me whenever you face great fear, you go to your greatness power. Mine is God. I am asking all who will. Could you please send up a prayer to help my family and I deal with whatever the results may be? Thanks for your thoughts and prayers in advance. I will continue to pray for your fans' protection and prosperity as well. May God bless us all. Very heartfelt uh, message from uh, Michael Irvin right there. And uh, I'm going to continue on reading this article, you guys. Uh, it says, Raising cancer awareness has been an important cause to the former wide receiver. As recently as this year's Super Bowl, Irvin wore a pink suit to the game in honor of two friends, one of which suffered from stage 4 breast cancer. 
I am asking all who will, could you please send up a prayer to help my family and I deal with whatever the results may be? Thanks for your thoughts and prayers in advance, he said. This is just, he already said that in the Instagram message, but the article is just uh, repeating it. Uh, you guys, this is uh, this is some heartfelt news. Um, I, I'm going to send my thoughts and prayers to Michael Irvin uh, because, you know, Michael Irvin, he has his faults, of course, but deep down he's he's always been a good guy he's always been a good dude very passionate man um you have to respect him for all the things he's done and you know i just wish the best for him i hope everything goes well for him uh you know it runs in his family it's, it's in his genetics hopefully he doesn't succumb uh to to cancer as well you know because voices like michael irvin passionate voices like michael irvin we need those in the world because I was so, you know, you know, I'm going to just say this. Listening to Michael Irvin gets me pumped up. Listening to Michael Irvin, brings he brings out the best in me. Whenever he goes on his heartfelt speeches, like on NFL Network, or sometimes he's on ESPN messing around with Stephen A. Smith. Whenever he goes on and, and he just gets passionate about something, he just puts his all into it. He puts everything into it and it pumps me up you know that's what i want to do for you guys when i give you some good news or something like that or like when i go on my crazy rants or something like that i want you to feel my energy as well i want you to be pumped as well and that's what michael irvin excels at he's a great motivator great like he's great at like just coming up with the right speech to just like get you going to get you through and he needs this from us you guys so uh, you don't have to be a Cowboys fan to send him any prayers. Like you could just be a, a just a, a generous human being to to pray for this man. Send your thoughts and prayers, and just hope that this man, you know, can get through this. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. And I, I just I I really hope that everything turns out well for him because you know I wouldn't wish cancer on my worst enemy. And so I damn sure wouldn't want anything to happen to Michael Irvin. So you guys, that's that. Um, Tell me what you guys think in the comments section. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.